and he says it's a pineapple. Get it? Pineapple. What? What uh, banter did I miss? Wow, meta. Nothing. Just allow the conversation to move forward and pick up context clues. No, no. There was a punchline. I heard it, and if I don't get the setup, my OCD is gonna get pent up and I'll aneurysm. Wasn't even a real half of a joke. He was just talking about a simple plan. Fonda, Paxton, Thornton, Ramy, ninety-eight, Snow. Plans, simplicity. Yeah. Good. Well, they tell that half of the joke like four times in that movie, but never the other half. What's a pineapple? Classic movie move, V. It's a way to make your characters seem charming and funny without you actually having to write a joke. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. But that's a real nice ski mask. <laughs> this one's eating my popcorn. <laughs> The gorilla suit has to go. Purple hat. May I push in your store? <laughs> that would be a great superpower. I take it. Oh, hey, if you had to choose one hacky convention from TV or movies to be true in your life, which would you choose and why? If you could pick one hacky convention from TV or movies to be true in your life, which one would you choose and why? I like in sitcoms how when they come back from a commercial break or an intro sequence, they repeat the scene they just did so you don't get confused. I feel like I'd absorb a lot more of what life has to offer if I got refreshers. Doesn't that imply you'd be jumping back in time? Could you alter it the second time around? No, no, no. It's just like on TV. What you did is locked in. It's a rerun. I think I'd like the opposite power. In movies and TV, people are always jumping forward to a new time or location, but continuing the same conversation they were having. I'd love if I could start telling a story at my house and then finish it at work, and all the people who were at both places heard the full story. Huge time saver. Sure, if your primary goal is to minimize the amount of human interaction you have in a day. That's exactly hmm. right. I like the efficiency angle. So much of what people say is just filler. It'd be really nice if all of you only said things that advanced the plot of my life or came into play later in some way. No pointless, awkward interactions. You never mishear someone or stumble over your words, but if you do, you can be pretty certain that you're gonna fall in love with that person. I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say I work here, but it, it seems like you in fact do work here, so you know that I don't in fact work here. You're fine, man. Are you f***ing retarded? Do you want me to be f***ing retarded? Don, like, nice, there, I would, I can't. Oh, no, 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 that, no. So, <laughs> I was wondering, I don't, I don't know, uh... This is a gun. Uh, the position of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that I... I'm not following you, no. I'm not. I mean, I don't... I'm, Romantic I'm, friends do this. I mean, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Smooth. How great would it be to end any phone call the second you get all the information you need? Just hang up without another word. You do that to me all the time. Right. But I mean, without it being considered rude. Go. Now. Okay. No oh, booze. I'm in a phone booth. Okay. Four, six, three. Yeah, I'll be at practice. Well, I guess that's all you can do. I'll put a couple of stiffs on the hood. I understand. I'll give her the message. Right. Good. If we're talking about efficient ways to deploy life's story, we gotta go with the power to turn on TV news at any time, securing the knowledge they'll be reporting on something directly affecting you. You just don't want to watch the news. You know, no one's making you watch it. You don't have to. I am sick of having to incite a riot to see myself on TV. Just once, I want to randomly flip it on, and they're talking about a contest, the grand prize for which is cash in the exact amount that I was just telling my best friend I desperately need this month in order to avoid getting evicted. Ghostbusters. First national monument. But no regard for anyone but yourself. 35-year-old Sarah Ann Connor. And religious groups are calling it Judgment Day. And imagine the impact if that had come on right when we turned on the TV. Okay, so what you're saying is that you, Michael, want the ability to live in a world where everything is dumber and information is spoon-fed to you. Yes! For some reason, I am confused, like all the time. I mean, on a screen, everything is just a shade simpler. Doctors, lawyers... We're going to tinker with your ticker. And you'll be violating attorney dumpster confidentiality. It's like putting too much air in a balloon. You can go up to a bartender and just say, hey, give me a beer, buddy. Two beers, please. You got it. It's great. You know, everyone constantly reminding you of stuff you should already know and recapping your life for you. Maybe we should go over the plan again. Charlie, can you please remind everyone of the rules? My uterus is an inhospitable environment. Well, I can't believe my sperm have low motility. I have an Elizabeth on line three. Your ex-wife. I know who it is. As long as we're recapping things that we already know. If this volcano erupts, the planet dies. Proper name, place name, backstory stuff. The quest will claim his life. You know this. Only your father could take a part-time job at a small town paper and wind up the target of international assassins. Why? I barely have to pay attention at all. Tell me the whole thing again. I wasn't listening. Right. 
easy solutions for everyday life. Like how on TV I'd always have just a little bit of foundation and my hair kind of done, even if I was just waking up or getting done boning. Ooh, L-shaped blankets. You know, in, in TV, sex scenes, uh, a lot of times the women are under L-shaped blankets, covering up the very boobs they were presumably just tossing about willy-nilly. Girls don't really do that, right? Oh, I've never once had sex in a bed. Usually, if we don't want you to see us naked, then we don't get in the bed in the first place. Well, the occasions on which I've been called upon to make love for a woman would have been much nicer if we didn't have to look at each other afterwards, all ruddy and squishy and sinned up. I just like TV sex better. It's like a witty post-sex conversation. Yeah, but that begs the question, do you even get to have sex? I mean, or do you just go to the bar and then black out, and when you come to, you're just with a woman in bed, naked from the waist up, bantering? Is that sex to you? I haven't been f***ed like that since grade school. Anything out here for me, okay? I'm a guy. You're attracted to girls. My career's slowed down a little lately. What? Oh, what about you can say anything in that tone of voice that's like, no. I would never do that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There is no way I'm gone. I am not watching The Notebook again. There's no way they're going to kill the mother of a six-month-old baby. And then you black out and you wake up and it's happening. No. Can somebody help me find The Notebook? Endless application. What about never having to go to the bathroom again? That'd be nice. Well, you'd still have to go occasionally. You just know something was going to happen while you're in there. No pointless trips to the John in movies. You're either gonna shit hilariously, a guy's gonna attack you, or you're gonna overhear some key info. Every time you poop, it's an event. No, I love my bathroom time. It's one of the few peaceful hours of my day. I don't think I'd give that up. Hours? You might wanna look into that. I read, I reminisce, I imagine. What about flashbacks and fantasies? Kinda of synonyms of what I just said, not really sure what you added. In movies and TV shows, flashbacks and fantasies are all shot on sets with actors. This implies that everyone has objectively factual memories and photorealistic imaginations. Witnesses to a crime would have perfect recall. If you want to imagine yourself on a tropical island, you could do that and then literally watch a little movie of you doing that thing you're imagining. I was already gone. Holy inferiority complex, Batman. Think. I wonder what life would have been like back then. Back then. I was in the Air Force. Saturday was actually a crazy night for me. Okay, I remember this now. I remember this, right? What are you doing? I'm trying to have a flashback. And sometimes, if you're on a really shitty show, everyone you're telling the story to will see the exact memory point by point. So your TV power would be objective recall? Yeah. Or the no awkward moments thing. Oh. I'm not sure I'd want to remember everything perfectly accurately. Some revisions are for the best. Like a decade from now, I will remember this diner hazily as some sort of gym. And you three will have been my spotters. I'll never shut up. Okay, what about phlebotanum? We haven't talked about that yet. No. We have it. I certainly would remember that if we had it. See, in a movie or TV show, one or all of the other characters in the scene would have never heard of that nonsense, forcing you to explain it. Ugh, okay, phlebotanum, first coined on the Buffy the Vampire Slayer set, is a substance, artifact, or object that, when put in the story, magically solves all the problems. If you could just get your hands on that unobtainium. Also known as hand wavium, or simply deus ex machina. See, I want the power where all of life's challenges are for sure solvable and have objective goals. I mean, characters on TV always know exactly what they want to achieve. Where in, in real life, half of the battle is just trying to figure out what you want or what you want to do, or even mustering up the energy to care. It would be great to know that my life would definitely improve if I would just have to go get a thing or learn a one sentence lesson, or better yet, if the answer was inside of me all along. Ooh, like an alien. All from the comfort of my unrealistically affordable apartment. Of course, you're kind of touching on the best part of TV and movies and the whole reason we watch them in the first place. Story structure. Every one of them assumes that life makes sense, that there's a, a clear arc, cause and effect, everything efficiently moves toward a conclusion. But it's just as often an exciting murder as it is a happily ever after. Yeah, I mean, it's not always happy, but at least it's cohesive. In real life, sometimes there aren't endings, or foreshadowing turns out to be meaningless, and there are just some questions that can't be answered. The real power that I would want is the one that all sitcom families share, and that's the ability, every episode, at the end, for everything to just go back to normal. For everyone to be safe and happy 
and for you to quietly be reminded of your place in the cosmic order. I suggest we treat our relationship as if it were a crashed computer and restore it to the last point we both agree at work. Well, I'm glad today's behind us. We did it. I'm certainly glad we got that all straightened out. Boy, I'm glad that's over. I not only got my job back, but Mr. Angelino gave me a raise as well. I think everything worked out nicely. I'm glad everything worked out all right for you. No one will ever mention it again under penalty of torture. I was gonna say! Hey, how about in restaurant scenes when the meals come and the actors don't eat? They just keep talking and let the food congeal. What about it? Nothing. Art is a mirror unto life is all. You gonna drink that beer? Holy sh**! Where did this come from? Hey YouTube! Thanks for watching our I don't know what TV thing on TV superpower would you want as a superpower episode. If you can think of other great ways that TV constantly screws up that you could use as a loophole superpower, go ahead and post your suggestion in the comments below. Yeah, and make sure to subscribe to Crack's uh, channel That's on it. the YouTubes. Yeah. And also, if you have any ideas for an after hour episode that you are just dying to see, write them in the comments and then we're gonna take your ideas. Yeah, like if you want like a Pixar episode or a Batman episode, Catch the f up on the series. We, we did, did those like already. two seasons ago. Yeah.